Hi everyone, my name is Fabio Silva and I'll be your teacher for the Effects for Games course. It's awesome to be here and I'm looking forward to get you introduced to visual effects for games as well as get you ready to prepare your portfolio for job applications. I have been in the games industry for more than 7 years now as a visual effects artist, working on companies such as Guerrilla Games, Pride Tech, Epic Games, Naughty Dog and Blizzard Entertainment. In the first weeks of this course, we will be learning about tools that artists in games industry use as well as getting to learn the basics of effects and particle systems in real time using Unreal Engine. As we progress, we will learn about textures, materials and shaders in creating our own effect systems that will get more and more complex as we go forward. In the final weeks, we will set out to do environmental effects and we will make all the effects for a small level the way you would do it in production. At the end of this course, you should have a solid grasp on how to create effects from start to finish and be able to achieve what you set out to do. On the first week, we will focus on learning the basics of Unreal Engine particle systems. On the second, we will continue to learn more about the particle systems and we will create our first particle effect and also learn about attaching effects to characters. On the third week, we will use what we learned in the previous weeks and create the classic example of a burning barrel, which is often asked by companies as an art test. On the fourth, we will create a complete weapon effect, muzzle flash, floor impact and aftermath for both the gun barrel and the floor and walls. On the fifth week, we will increase the complexity of our effects and we will make a sci-fi energy barrier. As for the 6th, 7th and 8th week, we will make all the effects for a level, like we would for production. It's a massive endeavor, as we will have to create a lot of content to make it work, as well as placing the effects in the level and still make it performant, like you would in a real production environment. With this, you should have a very solid portfolio piece that you can show to companies. I hope you enjoy taking this ride with me through the world of magic that is visual effects and I cannot wait to see what you guys can come up with.